Well, after a duel of the defenses in Hockey Valley, Robert Morris Jr. defender Kirsten Welsh getting named CHA Player of the Week for her efforts. But uh, first, we got to talk about the goal. And I think you know the one I'm talking about, the one from late in Saturday's game that tied the game and got you guys uh, what turned out to be a very hard-fought point uh, that particular Saturday. Uh, can, you, can you take me through that play? What did you see out there? Um, yeah, was it the was it the one of the first game or the second? Yeah, the first game. The first yeah. game, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was honestly it was our team. We were just working hard, working together. Um, so we just we were stepping it up. We were all over them in the third or the, and the second actually. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it was a defensive to offensive play. Um, I had Britt there, and uh, she she won the she won the battle with the girl. I got the puck and took her to the net, and just kind of hoped for the best. And it turned out it was a goal. So. <laughs> She always, uh, Brittany seems to find herself in the right place at the right time a lot. And she was, uh, she was named recently CHA Player of the Month, by the way. We should point that out as well. Just uh, what's it like playing with her? Uh, it's phenomenal. I mean, she's, she has the best hockey sense I've ever seen in a female hockey player. Um, it's an honor playing with her. It's, uh, she just has a, she just knows where to be at the right time and where, where, to, where to put the puck. And it's just really great playing with her. Now, it seemed like in the Penn State series, uh, again, really both teams dialed in defensively. There wasn't as much room out there as you uh, folks were maybe used to. How did that impact your job and what you guys normally do on the back end? Uh, well, defensively, I mean, it was a it was an in-conference game and um, the first one of the season. I mean, it was, it was pretty big. It was definitely a different game. It was, more, it was faster. And uh, as the defensive end, we just had to gap, uh, gap up better and uh, take our man, like man-on-man -man in zone and just do what we've been practicing basically all week. And, and uh, we just have to apply that to, to the game, and uh, we were pretty successful. So. Now, you're not the only one putting the puck in the net from the defensive end, and uh, the defensive unit as a whole, not sure if you know this, it's the highest scoring defensive unit in the entire conference as we tape this. Uh, why is that? Why do you guys just mesh so well? <laughs> um, we're a very um, offensive defense core. I mean, uh, we have to step up and help our forwards out every now and again, and I mean, it won't. It wouldn't be possible without our forwards uh, getting us the puck and supporting each other. And uh, we just we're in the we're in the right place at the right time. And it's. I mean, it's all it's all the team working together. We're just happen to be the the defensive core. So. And now you uh, head to Wentzville, Missouri, to take on uh, another conference rival, the Lindenwood Lions. Uh, CHA play continuing. Uh, what do you look for in that series this weekend? Uh, I'm excited. Uh, Lindenwood's a good team to play. They're uh, they're scrappy, but you know that's uh, we just have to play colonial hockey, and I'm sure we'll do well. We're uh, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to get the, the four points this weekend. So. And we'll see if they can do just that. CHA Player of the Week, Kirsten Welsh, guarding the back end for Robert Morris. Thank you, Kirsten. Thank you.